Hey, hey, everybody, I am Blue, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Ash of God's Redemption. Now, last time we escaped Albius and tried to find our friend, the yellow eyed individual whose name I cannot recall right now, here at Gabanon Watchtower. Unfortunately, we did not find him. What we did find, though, is a secret pathway or a mountain pathway. Which one should we take? Anything that says secret path is all right in my book, so let's go that way and see what happens. As you travel down the road, everything seems quiet. Suddenly, one of the pack horses shies at something, breaks the reins and bolts away. This spooks all the other horses and they buck and rear. It takes a lot of effort to calm down your nervous mounts, but the runaway horse is gone with all its luggage. Uh, no need to, yeah, no, 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 no. Find that horse no matter what. Ah. Ah, oh. you spend an entire day searching, eventually discovering your horse in a ravine. The animal is dead, and it's not the first to break its neck on this picturesque location. Jeez. Just beside of you find the bones of another horse, saddle bag still attached. Probably the horse from some grand official, as the bags are full of gold. Why am I losing money if I'm finding money? That doesn't make any damn sense. Money also seems to have gone up, right? What? Gold? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. We lost one, we gained... Okay. The Frisians invaded Berkana. Hordes of Northerners are already marching across the lands of the Five Kingdoms. Oh. That's not good. I think. Probably not good. Still, we just made a hell of a lot of money. Can't complain about that. Uh, just have to figure out what exactly... Right. I'm really curious about what this does, so I'm going to click it. <gasps> Campfire. Okay. Squad management. Now see, this right here. Let's take a look. Is this where you level? Is that what this is? Plus one. Uh... 22 Strix is to heal your party. Yeah, that's not worth it yet, though. Not yet. Good to know, though. Um, more energy. Can, is, oh, wait. Energy 20, 16, 40. Damn. 28, 22. So by far, Glada and Brett have the weakest energy. So I'm going to give this to Daughter Dearest. Okay. But other than that, there's no leveling business. Let's have a... Could it be that Krieger sleeps with his eyes open? Why does his face look like it's been hacked out of dry wood with an axe? Let's go have a talk. <laughs> Don't you want to head your own way? Say to Oda. You mean go to my wife? She's likely praying this misfortune takes me away. As for the children, they're too young to understand anything. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wow. Um. Yeah, you shouldn't forget about the regiment. That's all that keeps me going. I ran from Albius for a reason. Isn't that right, Forn? I was saving my lads. I mean, Flit, Sop, Hote, Brett. Dare my regiment, right? The others simply went mad. They weren't mad, Krieger. The reaping turned them into animals. Perhaps they came to their senses, but you did everything right. You shouldn't have stayed in the city. I don't know about that now. Barricading ourselves in your house could have been the right thing to do. But who knows, maybe Albius has already bur been burned to the ground. Whatever happened next, you did everything right. Or there's no way to change the past, Krieger. Hmm. Yeah. What can't be cured must be endured. I can get drunk, Forn, but I will be sober again. 
You better get some sleep. Yeah, I don't want to antagonize him too much. I don't recognize you, Krieger, or do you remember the incident with the King of Adala? I have no idea. This is probably like story background, but I don't want to get too deeply into that just yet. Maybe. There is something else. You know, there's something moving inside me. A terrible thing. Or maybe I'm terrible. I want to take a sword and stab everyone. Or maybe myself. Maybe the madness is taking its toll. I think that everyone was affected, even the plague recoiled from our Strixes. Don't attack anyone. Keep it together, friend. I don't need the trouble of having to watch you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, isn't he a warm individual? Okay, hope Brett didn't get himself into a mess like he did in Albius. Sitting all alone again, Brett. Hope you aren't shaking in your boots over what's to come. Dude, Thorn, ease up, mate. Not at all, Captain. You can get used to anything, and I've already grown accustomed to the fact that something is not right in this world. Besides, I'm hardly alone. I'm in good company. You didn't just come to ask me how I'm feeling, though, did you? You're right. There's something else left to discuss. Can't help but point out that you're quite perceptive for your age. Always observant, trying to get to the bottom of things. That's not just talent, either. It's a result of your training. Aren't you the son of a nobleman? Where did you get your training apart from the Albus Regiment? Hmm. Have any surprises in store for me? Same as everyone else, Captain. I mean, our squad's full of peculiar characters. As if we've been gathered here by the gods for some higher purpose. Agreed. Everyone's got their strength and weaknesses. Since you're so perceptive, mind telling me about my weakness? Glada is your strength and your weakness. None of us come close to that. Something about her elevates her above most folk. I don't mean her looks either, but something on the inside. A kind of spark or a flame. I don't know how to put it exactly. You're right about that. Glida is also exceptionally stubborn, always wanting it her own way. She got that from her mother. Or maybe from me. Hmm. Aren't you the son of some nobleman? No captain? Well, some bastard maybe. I never knew my father, but I've been looked after for all my, well, admittedly short, life. They're always concerned about me. They help my mother and see to my education. However, I know neither my benefactor's name nor motives. And you never yearned to learn more. Of course I did. But either my teachers didn't know anything or got gold enough to keep mum about it. My benefactor also convinced my mom that I'd be better off in blissful ignorance. Quite a puzzle they left you. Hope you managed to find the answer. Well, that's enough for this. Uh, I guess that's all I wanted to know. Then allow me a question, too. Do you think we'll survive the reaping? I do. Otherwise, all we do is pointless. I'll push onwards with all my strength. Hope you'll do the same. I'll try. Sometimes I lack the necessary fortitude. Everywhere around me, I see signs of the end of the world as we know it. However... With you by my side, I'm seeing this in a different light, Captain. Maybe my logic isn't sound and we do have a chance. Whatever that might be. Well, uh, thanks for the kind words, if that was your intention. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit hard to make out. The whippersnapper would have scrolled yet again. Time and again you scolded him in the barracks and now he's reading here. Hey, friend. Have you found a manuscript over even here? I picked it up near the gates in Albius. I've already read it. It's History of Phrygia. Nothing interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, what do they have to say about Phrygia? The same. The three kingdoms, Gordon, Gordan, and Ingordon, they're all... they are noblemen and even royal houses, but the Temple of Divine Wrath's power is nearly infinite. I heard there are no true kings in Phrygia. 
Yes, for the last 700 years, after the demise of all three kings at the uh, Drowsy Deep, dukes ruled the country. No one has been crowned. I heard that the crowns are kept at the altar of the, Divi uh, the Temple of Divine Wrath. Hmm. Uh, what are your plans for after the Reaping Flit? No matter how hard I think about it, it seems I have almost no chance of surviving this reaping. Not because I won't run for the hills and hide, it's because I'm not a hero form. Only heroes survive. You're wrong, Flit. What is it then? Aren't heroes the ones overcoming adversities and escaping battles unharmed? Or recover from their wounds and bathe in glory? Only, those, only these kinds of stories are written in the books. What happens in real life? <laughs> heroes die even more often. Only the lucky survive. It doesn't really matter if they fight bravely or hide in ditches. Whatever you say, Form, I will accept it. <laughs> Damn! Alright, you should put the reading aside and rest. I might erase these scribbles and start describing our journey. Maybe a way to leave a mark behind for future generations. Just try to avoid leaving a mark with your blood, Flit. <laughs> nice one, Forn. It's hard to joke about death, but you're quite good at it. <laughs> oh, man. What an asshole. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, that's enough for now. Let's continue on our journey and this merry bunch of people. Damn, Forn. You're supposed to motivate people to keep living. <laughs> Oh. A lone horseman comes into sight at the outskirts of Dinford Village. His horse barely trudges along. It looks like it galloped without, the re uh, without rest. The rider, just as exhausted, doesn't notice you until you catch up to him. Krieger raises himself in the stirrups, glares at the traveler and shouts, Well, if it isn't Ramlin, wait, you knucklehead, you! Don't you recognize your commander? <laughs> that is not the easiest line to break. Taken aback, the lad hunches his shoulders, but then sighs in relief when he recognizes Krieger. Hello, Captain Krieger. What brings you here? Uh, I'm on my way home. Not that far off, in fact. Krieger squints to scan the nearby houses. Your village isn't going anywhere, and your house, uh, and your horse, not your house, but your horse, needs some rest anyhow. Anyhow. Sorry about the tripping up, guys. You'll ride the poor thing to death, you bonehead. Get off before it crushes you. Ramlin gets off the horse and the exhausted animal collapses. You give the young guard a scornful glance and dismount in order to talk to him. You know, here we go. Catch your breath, boy. Take it easy. Now tell me one thing. We passed a dozen hamlets yesterday, but didn't see a single person. Do you know what's going on? I, I don't know. I didn't stop by any hamlets. In fact, I didn't stop at all. Mm, did you notice anything strange on your way? The footprints, maybe. Lots of them. Looks like a party on horseback, larger than the oars. I didn't see them even though I rode without rest, but my guess is that they're heading for our men here. We noticed that, too. I can't imagine what company this could be. It's too big for a Burkhanan patrol. Could it be bandits? I hope they don't find their way into your village. Never seen any bandits in these parts. We're not rich. And there are several bows and lances in every home. They lose more than they'd gain. There's also a watch around the men here. And they will come to our aid. Alright. We'll deal with those mysterious horsemen later. How did you ever manage to ride for so long? Well, I know a sort of incantation bucks you up a bit. Learned it from my grandma. She's one of the vandals. They know their stuff. Mm, can you buck us up? Not yet. Too tired. Besides, I'm a bit of a weakling compared to my grandma. She's very skilled. And she's also got special powders and poultices. We'll definitely see your grandma on the way back. I hope she sells us some potions to keep us healthy. Yes, we definitely will. Well, we have to set out. Yes, of course. I'll drop by Grandma's and then head to the men here. 
I suppose I'll return to Stein afterwards. Don't think me a deserter, Captain. Just go already. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Visit your grandma or return to the watchtower. We are too preoccupied to care. <laughs> Man, born, Dude! As nice as your daughter is. Ooh, this is pretty. He's kind of an ass doll, man. <laughs> Inspiring his men. Birds. You pass a village. Its empty streets strike you as odd. A feeling of foreboding sets in, but you shrug it off. Right now, your only goal is the men here. Everything else comes second. The villagers must have gathered near the sacred stone, Flit says. It's a holiday, after all. You agree, relieved. Indeed, villages near the Menhir traditionally boast spring festivi festivities. Lost in thought, you don't immediately hear someone addressing you. Flit calls to you again, pointing at the road. There's something smoking there, and scavengers circle the black plumes. You slow down to take a closer look. Oh boy. So these, pretty as this is, I'm, I'm thinking that's not good news. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this game is so gleeful. Okay. Huh. That's pretty bleak. Ooh, they got off their horses. A heap of corpses rest in the middle of the road. So many bodies, men and women, old and young, even children. There's a scaffold and some spear sticking out the ground. The smell of blood makes you lightheaded. You trot closer, pulling back on the reins. Scorched and torn asunder, all these people die without making a sound. Their mouths choked with dirt, hacked limbs lie nearby. You turn around slowly. Leda stands by, clenching the hilt of her sword. The others stand further back, frozen in place. Gleda saw. She's petrified, unable to get a word out. She runs off on limp limbs, sick to her stomach. You order your men to help Gleda and to keep their distance. A quiet howl draws your attention. You notice a pregnant woman struggling under a pile of corpses. She's been severely mutilated and won't last long without aid. Oh, man. It seems the woman will deliver her child within a matter of hours. If you, if you leave her here to die, the child dies with her. But if you bring her along, she'll be a great burden, not to mention the baby, if it survives, that is. Aw, oh, man, seriously, Gain? Okay, leave her be, put her out of her misery, or try to help. Leaving her be would be extremely cruel. You know, that's just like, eh, eh you, you just suffer, we gotta get going. I, I don't think that'll be good for morale. Put her out of her misery? is probably the sensible choice considering that you know she's mutilated she's it, it's gonna take a lot to uh fix her up and if the child dies that uh, or the child gets born it's gonna make a lot of noise and whatnot it might be bad but the humane thing to do is number three try to help and i'm also worried if we kill uh that lady that all this talk about, oh, everything's going to be fine and we will survive and we will push on. I don't think it'll be good for morale either. I don't think everybody's going to think pragmatically, so we're going to try to help. You wade through the corpses and pull the woman out from under the pile. Your companions come to your aid. You don't have a healer and it's pointless to return to the village. These corpses are all that's left of it. Seems like you'll have to bring the woman to the men here. Ah, uh, man. I hope that doesn't screw us. I'm guessing that is the stone. You step, uh, you stop your company on the bridge. Suspicious figures stand on the other side. The watchman's bodies hang nearby, close to the blood-soaked men here. Flip grows pale. Aren't they Enses? The old Chronicles calls them abominations. I've read about them, wielders of enchanted blades that can fly. Reeve time is upon us. You draw your sword, 
They've noticed us. Be on your guard. There are no, few, <laughs> there are no fools gathering near the bridge. We'll have to dismount. Don't all of you swarm the bridge. You'll only get in each other's way. Gleda, look after the wounded girl. As you give your orders, Flit rushes the bridge, yelling some nonsense about courage. Trying to remain composed, you order everyone to attack and run after Flit yourself. However, he makes it to the bridge first, with the others several steps behind. Dumbass. Ah, oh boy. Let's see here. It's on a bridge, so it might be prudent to have another archer here. No? What? But only five? Oh, they, they were already there. <laughs> My bad. Assassin Krieger. Let's take you along. You're tough as nails, so. Okay. That ought to do it, right? Yeah. Then again, you. Loyalty average. Yeah, we'll go with this. Got some strong uh, shieldmen up front. Spearmen can attack from behind. Should work. Uh, uh shnikes. Not bad, kid. Goodbye. Well, that went well. Alright, you go over here. Oh, man. There is not enough room. Wrong team. Uh, like this, and like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's do this. Okay, he's first. Me. I'm gonna move up here. Yeah, that's fine. What's this? Hmm, increases defense of a party member. Let's do this first. And, uh... Okay, that helps, hopefully. That's actually not bad. Oh, wow, dude. They can attack two squares away. <laughs> we are so screwed already. Uh, okay. Okay, do you have anything that attacks energy? 11 damage. Like right there. The hell is this? Oh my goodness, these guys have one hell of a wallop. Mm -hmm. Let's try to kill this guy. Wait, 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 no, 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 we need to, let's see here. Okay. Oh, if you use a card, the turn skips to the enemy. Not a big fan of that, I can tell you that much. Forn, you are stuck there, okay. Let's try to get rid of this guy, shall we? No, no, no. I want him to attack this guy right here. If I attack that, deal six damage. That's nothing. Hmm. No, 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 no. I changed my mind. Oh, that's the wrong button. Right click. Okay. I'm gonna have to go and help Forn.
Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Let's see here. I think you will be able to kill this guy. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> That's not how that works. Okay. Oh, you don't have the help to do this attack. Hmm. 12 damage, you say. Nice. We should be able to get this guy down this turn. Uh, that can't be good. Shoot this guy. Doesn't really matter. Don't miss, please. Of course he did. Be cool, Forn. Be cool. This guy already moved, so we're gonna move you up. Cost him six health to do this move, though. Mm, retaliation. And then we strike at you. Okay, cool. Now you're good, you're good. Oh man, this dude is so screwed. <laughs> oh man, my bad. See, if you would have hit that shot, buddy, that would have been better. Nah, see. Oh, wait, that's his stats. Oh, damn it, I did it again. Fine, do this. We got one. Hooray. Wait, he's dead, right? They're not going to do that getting back up number, are they? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. It's going great. Hmm. Cost eight health, but oh, this dude is healing them. Hmm. That will kill them, so. Like that. Okay. What about you, buddy? Can you make it all the way over here? Wait, how far is your attack range? Let go. No. No. Let go. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. So you can't attack that far. Takes you 14 health to do that. How much health do you have right now? 24. Hmm. 18 damage though. Nice. Oh, that dude's getting buffed like nobody's business. He just moved, so it is your turn. Unless I have a card that would really help with this. Mm hmm. And reduces attack and increases attack on to all surrounding units. Yeah. Could kill him. I 
Actually, wait. Where's that choke cold? That one. Okay. You're okay, you got this. What, you're stuck or something? Move on up. Kill this dude. He's in my way though, isn't he? Okay, we might still win this, guys. Yeah, I know I'm being a little bit quiet because this is pretty tense for me. Hmm, damn. I'm gonna shoot this guy. Goodbye. We can't actually move through those squares, or can we? That is the question. We can. Okay, not too bad, not too shabby. Seven health, but we'll kill him. Nice. That's okay. This means we freaking win. Uh, should try to stun this guy. Nice. Should be okay. The cards are really good, but at the same time, if you don't have... Uh... I thought he was stunned. Nah, doesn't matter. The problem is, if you use those cards, you lose a turn. That I am not a big fan of. Lose 7 health? Risky. Deals 11, we'll do 22. Nah, she's gonna swing at him normally. Nice one. Still pretty damn good. Your turn, buddy. Lay into him. You still have plenty of health? No, 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 you really don't. <laughs> you really, really don't. Oh, you have the same skill as this dude, huh? Okay, then I'm gonna just do this. That's fine. Nice, nice, nice. So they're the ones that have to contain enemies. That retaliation skill is quite potent. Nice. Wait, is that a level up? Nah, he's close to dying though. That's not okay. We got some money out of it. And we have the cure. Another cure card. I'm happy. Twice of the, Two of those would be very, very welcome. Okay, guys. Though, this is where I'm going to cut out for now. Uh, seeing as that uh, it's already been 34 minutes. Uh, and I wouldn't want the story to start and then the whole taping goes all right and whatnot. So this is where I'm going to leave you for now. I hope you guys are having a good time with this. I definitely am. I'm loving the story so far. Uh, the combat is something I'm going to have to get used to. Uh, we won, but, you know, two of our guys went down. Clearly, those guys did not have to go in front. Going to have to use Krieger and Boss or Saab, whatever his name is. 
Anyway, I hope you guys, like I said, had a good time. If you did, drop a like and a dislike. And as always, if you like what I do, please subscribe. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.